What's good? Hey everyone. What it do? What's poppin'? Her name is Ebony. His name is Eugene. And today is part five of our seven relationship goals for marriages, relationships, and couples. So our biggest takeaways from day four was so my biggest takeaway is don't go to sleep being mad and taking that into the next day because it's it's just not okay. It's just going to flow with the next day and then you're going to be mad. So that's not good. And just having more control over your emotions and dealing with them in a healthier way. Me as well. Just finding or creating healthy outlets to release negative or angry emotions. But let's get it. Let's do it. All right. So day five is titled Deepening Physical Intimacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, <laughs> I'm Mark. I'm Christine. Let's get into it. Let's do it. I'm glad that God invented sex. I enjoy giving Christine pleasure. And I love it when she receives that. <laughs> I don't just want her body. I want to express my love for her physically. Thank you, Mark. I want and need to feel emotionally close to Mark. I also need time to get in the mood. For me, sex is more like icing on the cake. We have to bake the cake <laughs> first through growing emotional intimacy. Many couples enjoy healthy sex lives, but for others, it can be an area in their marriage with which they struggle. Some may even feel that they are failing in some way. Many things can get in the way of mutually satisfying sex life. Our different needs and seasons of life, communication struggles, tiredness, stress, health conditions, traps like pornography god made us physical beings and we're fearfully and wonderfully made as husband and wife we're designed to fit together perfectly as one flesh there is nothing shameful in this god means sex to be good for bonding pleasure and reproduction for many couples, sex is a sensitive and tricky issue, and there can be seasons in marriage where sexual frequency is low. It's good to find ways of expressing our love in a physical way that is mutual, satisfying, and honors God. We express our deep commitment and love for one another through faithful and loving sexual relationship. Reflection. How do or can I express deep love and commitment for my partner in a physical way that meets their needs and honors God. They're getting deep. They are. Well, I would say first and foremost, you know, make sure that union, that relationship has been presented to God. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're dating, maybe look into those steps of making it a marriage. Yeah. Engagement, marriage, things of those steps. I agree. And I also think just talking to your spouse, setting boundaries, you know, what is acceptable, what is not, and what do we think God wants in this relationship? I like that. Prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of sex and the way it bonds us deeply in our love and commitment for one another. Yes, Lord. Help us to deepen our love for each other, both emotionally and physically, in ways that honor you yes god amen amen the song of songs chapter 4 verses 9 through 11 and again i'm reading a new living translation you have captured my heart my treasure my bride you hold it hostage with one glance of your eye with a single jewel of your necklace your love delights me my treasure, my bride, your love is better than wine, your perfume more fragrant than spices, your lips are as sweet as nectar, my bride, honey and milk are under your tongue, 
your clothes are scented like the cedars of Lebanon. <laughs> that was deep, y'all. Oh, oh. It was really Woo. deep. It's getting hot up in here. <laughs> hey, cut on that AC. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The last scripture. Proverbs 5, chapter 5, verses 18 and 19. Let your wife be a fountain of blessings for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She is a loving, dear, a graceful doe. Let her breasts satisfy you always. May you always be captivated by her love. It's getting spicy up in here, <laughs> y'all. I don't know. <laughs> so, based on today's reading, what is one thing God is saying to you? I would say um, just honoring God with our love. And on top of that, the physical love needs to be mutually satisfying between both partners. Mm -hmm. That is something that we need to continue to work on to accomplish. Definitely. With that being said, if you feel in the vibe, like and subscribe. And if you ain't, leave us a physical thumbs up. <laughs> That'll work. And we out. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do what I do, I do what I do.